Okay, so this is going to be Trump lawsuits. There are so many. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. I know you're watching and it really helps. You can't imagine. But anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. That's the best. Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So the deal is this, Trump is inundated with lawsuits. Someone has estimated or guessed that he may be have the most lawsuits of anyone in history, period. So I'm interested to know how these lawsuits are going to affect him. And uh, so here are a few questions that maybe we can uh, look at uh, with the cards. Okay, and the questions are going to be this. I've got five, maybe six questions that I will ask and draw cards for. Number one, regarding the insurrection, okay, will lawsuits brought by Donald Trump help him escape culpability. And then number two, regarding his niece, Mary Trump, will Donald end up paying her? Okay, number three, will U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland get Donald into a courtroom? Uh, number four, will New York Attorney General Letitia James lawsuits bring Donald to testify in front of a judge? And number five, which is a two-parter, uh, this will be a full Celtic cross, uh, will lawsuits bankrupt Trump organization and will lawsuits bankrupt Donald personally? That's what I want to know and that's what I'm going to ask and that's what the cards are going to tell us. So I can't wait. So this is the Druid Craft Tarot and uh, it's sort of uh, on the magic of uh, Wicca and uh, Druidity or Druidry. Maybe that's the uh, correct uh, uh, terminology. Uh, Philip and Stephanie Carr Gum uh, with illustrations by Will Worthington. Really nice deck. Um, they're a little, um, the, car, the box is fantastic because you really feel like you got a nice quality uh, gift if you gave that. The guidebook is huge and uh, the only thing I would say is that it's a shame it's not in full color but it gives you some, some useful uh, divination uh, for the cards in there. So I like that. The cards themselves, the one uh, gripe I have is that you have to dump them out of the box, which I'm not that happy about. But um, the cards themselves, they're huge, so some people might find them a little awkward to use, but I like them. And uh, the divination that you get out of them is amazing. There's so much thought that went into each picture, every element of each picture. And um, so they're very useful in almost any uh, circumstance. We're going to use these, and I like to spread them out like this. Uh, if I'm doing a reading with someone, then I like to usually let them uh, spread them out like this to kind of get their energy into the cards. It's a good way to mix them up without, you know, damaging the cards too much, uh, which is uh, always important to me. So these cards are fantastic, Druidcraft Tarot. Okay, so now we're going to talk about. Um, Donald Trump. But you know, before we do that, let's just have a moment of meditation. Okay. So, first question, insurrection. Will lawsuits be brought by Donald Trump to help him escape culpability regarding the insurrection will lawsuits be brought by Donald Trump to help him escape culpability will lawsuits be brought by Donald Trump that will actually that will actually help him escape culpability will lawsuits be brought by Donald Trump that actually help him escape culpability this is going to be just uh, three cards The lawsuits be brought by Donald Trump actually help him escape culpability. OK, 
Okay, the, sig the first card for that is uh, the Two of Wands. So the Two of Wands are plans, actions, forward movement, and uh, the Two of Wands are short-term plans. So looks like he's got that in mind. The next card, uh, the King of Wands. Okay, so the the King is the strongest of the of the court cards, and he's uh, when he when the King has an action, he has a plan. He's going to make it happen. This is Donald Trump. And the last card, the Sun. You know, the sun is a yes card. The sun is uh, shining shining light on a, a, a situation. And I think this is telling me that, yes, he will bring lawsuits that will ha help him escape culpability. Okay, that's the first question. Now, the second one is regarding his niece, Mary Trump. Will Donald Trump ever end up paying her for that lawsuit? So regarding his niece, Mary Trump, will Donald Trump end up paying her for that lawsuit? Three cards. One, two, and three. Okay. Will Donald Trump end up paying his niece Mary Trump in those lawsuits? So the first card for that, well, this is the um, the lady. This is the empress. So this uh, person in this card is rich with abundance and fruitful. And uh, wow, so this is Mary, and I'm going to say this is going towards yes. Um, the second card for that, the sun. That's a yes card. The last card in that is the Wheel of Fortune. This tells me that the Wheel of Fortune is turning, and just by the position that she's in in this Wheel of Fortune, you know, she's on the way up to the top of the wheel in drawing this, this uh, circle. If she were over here coming down, that would be indicative for me of a little a difficulty in this uh, fortune. But no, it looks like this is coming around to her benefit. So yep, I think he's gonna end up paying her. So there's that. Now the third question is will Je Attorney, U.S. Attorney, Attorney General Mer Merrick Garland get Donald Trump into a courtroom. Will Attorney General Merrick Garland's Department of Justice get Donald Trump into a courtroom? Will Attorney General Merrick Garland? You know, I need to shuffle this really well, so let me be quiet for a minute. Okay, will Attorney General Merrick Garland get Donald Trump into a courtroom? Uh, this will be three cards. One, two, three. Will Merrick Garland get Donald Trump into a courtroom? The first card for this is the Ten of Pentacles. You know, the Ten of Pentacles is... Um, uh, uh, pentacles are, are abundance, uh, their value, their worth. The Ten of Pentacles is a happy family. It's generational uh, value. So this to me says that, uh, yeah, it looks like it might be going that way. Uh, the next card for that is the Two of Pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is finding a balance, okay, F trying to balance that value. And so you might say, is it worth putting him in front in, in, in front in the court to testify or not? So that's the juggle right now. And then the last card for that is the King of Pentacles. And I'm going to say that this is all about Merrick Garland. And it looks like he will get him uh, into a courtroom. Wow. That's great. Now, let's go to New York. And Attorney General Letitia James. Attorney General Letitia, Je Letitia James. Let me get these cards cleared up. Attorney General Letitia James, will she, uh, will her um, lawsuits bring Donald Trump to testify in front of a judge? So, so Letitia James, New York, will her lawsuits bring Donald Trump to testify in front of a judge? So Letitia James, New York Attorney General, will those lawsuits bring Donald Trump to testify in front of a judge? And this will be three cards. One, two, three. Letitia James, will her lawsuits bring Donald Trump in front of a judge? There's a difference in being in court and being in front of a judge. First card for that is the fool. So this is a new journey. The fool is starting off on a journey. He's usually got with him what he needs. Um, he could trip up and make a mistake, but he's got uh, his uh, trusty companion uh, at his side to hopefully warn him off, although that trusty companion looks like he might be going off the, into the cliff too. So this is a new, a new uh, journey, the beginning of a journey. The next card for that 
is a king of cups. So this is emotional. This is heartfelt. Um, the cups are those things, emotion, compassion. And um, so the king of cups tells me that this is um, very important to her. The next card in that is the world card. So this is the completion of a cycle. The completion of a cycle. So Letitia James, will she get Donald Trump in front of a, a judge? Yes, I think she will. So this is the journey that she's on. It's very important to her. And the completion uh, of the cycle for me indicates that, yeah, that will be the completion of that, of that, uh, that journey. Interesting. One more question for this. This will be a Celtic cross, full Celtic cross, 10 cards, six uh, first and then another four. So this question is going to be, will lawsuits bankrupt Trump, Trump organization? Will lawsuits bankrupt Trump organization? Will lawsuits bankrupt Trump or org? Six cards to begin with. Okay. Got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Will lawsuits bankrupt Trump organization? Okay. Let's see what we've got as a signifier for that. First, ah, okay. So completion of a cycle. Wow, this seems like yes. Um, the challenge to that is the high priest. This is either the government, this has to be the government. So the challenge to completion of this cycle, getting Trump org um, bankrupt, is in the purview of the high priest. This is very strong. When the high priest says something's going to get done, it gets done. The basis of that reading then, wow, the sun is really showing up, it is, yep, this is a big yes card. The past to that, with the Four of Cups, oh yeah, it is being, uh, Four of Cups are compassion, emotion, uh, heartfelt situations, and this is uh, being offered something that you really don't want. So it could be that regarding Trump Organization, this is something that they really uh, don't want to happen, obviously. But in order for something else to survive of Trump Org, uh, maybe that's what's going to have to happen. Uh, the sky of this reading with the Ten of Pentacles is uh, Pentacles are value, um, worth, can be money. And so this um, uh, Ten of Pentacles um, tells me that all of that value is, um, is what's being aimed for. Wow. And then the likely outcome of the first part of this Celtic Cross is the Two of Cups, which are uh, lovers, partnerships. So, yeah, finding the right partnership to get a thing done. But the Two of Cups is a weak um, number in the um, in the in the long run. So the last four cards for this uh, full trip to cross, which I want to put right here, are going to be um, will lawsuits bankrupt Donald Trump? So will lawsuits bankrupt Donald Trump? So this moves on to Donald Trump personally. Will lawsuits bankrupt Donald Trump? Four cards. The self of that question is the Queen of Swords. Okay, the Queen of Swords. Swords are truth, justice, rules, law. And this Queen is Letitia James, and she is not budging in her resolve. Okay? The environment that that's in then is this Ace of Swords, truth, justice, rules, law, coming up to say, I'm here and I'm claiming what's mine. Wow. Very interesting. The hopes and the fears for that, will Donald Trump actually be bankrupt? Six of Cups, imagine, uh, emotion, compassion, remembering the way things were. That's what the Six of Cups is, and I think that's what's going to happen here. It's going to bring Donald Trump to a point of remembering when things were so much better for him than they're going to be. And then the last card for will Donald Trump be personally bankrupted by all of this is the Four of Wands, smallish celebrations. So, Wow. I would say ones are actions of forward planning. And uh, so this is a smaller celebration onto something larger, which could be uh, trying to uh, cripple Trump organization. So just to go over it again. Um, 
So the first part was, will uh, the organization be bankrupt? We have the completion of a cycle. It's challenged uh, by the high priest who is completely in charge, and whatever he says goes. So yeah, this is, a, this is a double yes right here. This is a triple yes with the sun at the base of this. With this four of cups being offered something that you don't want, that's what's going to be offered to Trump organization. And then in the sky of this, with this ten of pentacles, just shows how much they're shooting for. They want to, to generationally... Uh, end the situation. And then the likely outcome is this two of cups is finding the right pairing to get that done. And then personally about Donald Trump, we uh, have the self of that question. Will he be bankrupt? The Queen of Swords, this is Letitia James, uh, holding on to that truth, justice, rules, and law and looking very smug about it. And then it's in the environment of truth, justice, rules, and law. And in the hopes and the fears, the uh, fears for Donald Trump will be uh, being brought to a point where he has to remember how things used to be because they're not going to be that anymore. And then the final outcome for the whole thing is that this may be the smaller uh, celebration towards a larger goal of bankrupting the whole organization. Very interesting. Well, I mean, that's what we got. So what do you think? Did Was it on point? Do you think it was right? Do you, uh, you know, you tell me. And by the way, if you ask me questions, I'll try to answer them on, you know, on the, the uh, here. So ask me. Well, I'm Mark. This has been my journey through tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.